Hello everyone, happy Sunday. God bless you. Happy Easter to every single one of you. Thank you for joining me for the prophetic word for today. I appreciate every single one of you and I pray that the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will not go in vain in your life and in mine in the name of Jesus. And may we continue to be great ambassadors for God in the earth and may we continue to give him our all for the sacrifice that he has given us. We can never repay him back, but we we can we can at least give our lives to him we can give him all of ourselves and not a part of it just like he gave himself for us we must also do the same and give ourselves to him and give our all to him so god bless you once again uh happy easter to every single one of you i also want to thank all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m eastern standard time and if you're still not joining us what in the world are you waiting for come come join us on tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m eastern standard time i will leave the information on the screen here the link will also be in the description box down below the title of the video Video. For those of you who would like to join us from outside the United States, that will be the easiest way to do it. Today, I have brought you the prophetic word. This prophetic word will be a confirmation for some of you, and it will be a rhema word for some. The Lord said, though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. This is Job chapter 8 and verse 7. And this is for those of you who are looking at your life, and it seems like there's nothing significant about your life. Um, uh, maybe in that ministry or the business that God told you to start and you've been left wondering if you missed something. My God, you've been left wondering if you even heard from God because things just aren't what you expected them to be. Or even in a marriage that you believe God has called you to or even in your projects, your your new business that you're, you're trying to start, whatever it is that you're doing that you felt you were led to start, but there's just been so much confusion. There's there's been so much obstacle to finding your way. Those you thought were going to help you, they turned their backs on you. My God, oh, have you been there? The Lord said to tell you, do not focus on the, on the small beginnings. Do not focus on your meager beginnings or on the challenges that you're facing for your beginning may be insignificant. He says, know that your future will be much brighter. My God, your future will be full of prosperity, even that your past. And the most important thing here is that you know that you know that you know you have heard from God. Even then, some may still struggle, the Holy Spirit says. They may still struggle and some of you are struggling even now with your faith. But when you understand that there is no guarantee that things will work uh, other than the word that God has given you, then you can let go and trust God to guide you every step of the way. My God, you can let go and let God and, 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 and allow God and trust him to guide you every step of the way. And I want to just share a quick testimony. I, I shared this on the prayer line um, uh, before, and I just want to share it here because I believe that this will encourage somebody. Uh, while I was doing my dissertation, I, I had mentioned here before, I think I came on here and, and, and uh, was doing my Thanksgiving that I was able to pass uh, my dissertation defense. And after six, six, and a half years of hard work. Yes, hard work. This was not some bootleg school that I went to. No, it wasn't. And uh, but I, 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 I sacrificed and I gave everything. And it came a point that things got so difficult. You know, working full time and doing ministry full time and taking care of and raising three beautiful kids and being a godly wife and just you know still trying to accomplish this goal that God had given me and since I was a little girl and and it got to a point that my 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 father was sick and I just was so exhausted from you know um, taking care of him and, and and trying to make sure that I give him the best care that I could while juggling all of these things and it came a point that I said Lord I I, I can't I just I think I need to just give up I mean I, I can't do this and there were so many obstacles that also made me come to that conclusion like 
I just don't have the energy for all of this stress right now. Uh, but I heard the Lord say to me, finish what you started. Finish what you started because this is going to open some other doors for you that you don't know yet. So there is a purpose for why you have, uh, have, have had this desire in your heart, this dream since you were a little girl and, and never left you. And even though you got married, you have children, you're working, it never left you. It's because I am in it. It is because I put the desire in your heart. And, and it was at, right at the edge of a breakthrough that I didn't see coming that God said to me, do not cry and cried and said, well, what is the point? I have this delay and this obstacle after obstacle, uh, rules are changing because the, my dissertation was, you know, uh, in the military uh, facility and, and there were so many, uh, um, you know, new rules and guidelines and, and restrictions that I didn't know before I went into this process. But the Lord said to me, finish what you started. And, and he began to give me ideas when I, when I surrendered myself, when I let go when when I trusted him to guide me every step of the way when I made up my mind I will obey him he began to open doors I I, I can't give you the entire story here but many of those who uh, come on the prayer line they, they got the full uh, the full uh, testimony but I'm saying all of this to tell you that God brought help where I didn't think there would be help there was a ram in the bush kind of moment uh, as, as, as a matter of fact there were ram in the bush moments several of them that it was God there was no way to deny that this was this was not God it was God all the way and the Holy Spirit wants me to tell someone today that when you feel the most pressured to give up on God that is when you are about to birth the very thing that you labored for, that you've been laboring for. Do you hear God today? When you are, a, you feel the most pressure to give up on God, to give up on his promises, to give up on, on, on that dream, to give up on the vision, to give up on that goal that he has given you the desire for. That is when you are about to birth the very thing that you have labored for or that you been laboring for. The Holy Spirit has sent me to tell you, do not give up. Do not give in. He says, dig your heels in, for you are at the edge of a breakthrough and you will break through. You will break through. He says, you will break through the pain, my God. You will break through the fear. You will break through the obstacles. You will break through the delays. You will break through the past trauma. You will break through the doubt. You will break through lack of resources or money. You will break through that help Hopelessness. You will break through that hopelessness and you will lay hold of the promise of God concerning your life. You will break through. You will break through. There is a breakthrough in the works for you. God is working behind the scenes in your favor if you will trust him. If you will reactivate your faith today. That even in the waiting season, yet you would believe him. Yet you would trust him. He will make a way. He will bring you through. And the Holy Spirit led me to Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 1 to 10. I don't want to make this video too long, but I, I tell you, the Lord has a word for someone today. If you would just surrender and release all of your worries and concerns to him. Mm, my God, my God, don't look at what you've been through. Focus on him. Keep your eyes on him. The Bible says then the angel who had been talking with me, this was Zechariah's account, returned and woke me as though I had been asleep. Uh, what do you see now? He asked. I answered. I see a solid gold lamp stamp with a bowl of oil on top of it. Around the bowl are seven lamps, each having seven spouts with wicks. And I see two olive trees, one on each side of the bowl. Then I I asked the angel, what are these, my Lord? What do they mean? Don't you know, the angel asked. No, my Lord, I replied. Then he said to me, this is what the Lord says to Zerubbabel. It is not by force nor by strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Nothing, not even a mighty mountain, haya, will stand in Zerubbabel's way. It will become a level plain before him. And when Zerubbabel sets the final stone of the temple, 
temple in place, the people will shout, may God bless it, may God bless it. Then another message came to me from the Lord. Zerubbabel is one who laid the foundation of this temple and he will complete it. Then you will know that the Lord of heaven's armies has sent me. Do not despise these small beginnings, ayah, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. My God, my God, ha, are you hearing God today? Oh, he rejoices to see you finish what he has caused you to start. It will not be by power. It will not be by might. It will not be by strength, by your own strength. Oh, but it will be by the spirit of the living God. So I, I encourage you today by the word of God and by the spirit of God to, to just allow God to work in you. My God, I pray that your faith be made stronger today in the name of Jesus. I pray that your faith be made stronger today in the name of Jesus. Even Jesus got to a point, he knew he was going to die for the sins of the world and he cried to God, oh, will you let this cup pass me over? And then he, he, he regained himself. The Bible says he did this three times because it was just so painful. The agony, the thought, the trauma that he was about to experience, the weight of it, the burden was so heavy. Ah, this purpose, this, this anointing, this grace, this, this assignment was so mighty. Ah, oh, but he, but he, he, he regained himself and he took his stance and got my will, but your will, your will, Father, be done. Your will, Father, be done. And that is when you have gone, you have come to the end of yourself. That is when the Father steps in. Jesus had come to the end of himself and he knew it would be only by the grace of God because if it is the will of God, it will supply the grace. Do you hear me? If it is his vision, it will make provision. My God, if it is, if it is the will of God, he supplies the grace. And grace was supplied for Jesus to complete the assignment. Grace was supplied. I, I pray that grace will be supplied to you today in the name of Jesus. That vision that God gave you, he will make provision. You will break through every barrier, not even not the highest mountain, the highest obstacle. Uh, none of it will keep you down. None of it will keep you crippled. None of it will keep you bound. None of it will keep you stagnated. None of it will keep you stuck in a rut. In the name of Jesus. Oh, so Father, we thank you. We bless you once again for this word. We receive it with thanksgiving. And we continue to hold on to your word. We believe for everything that you have spoken concerning our lives. And we know that we shall see it manifest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you praise now for having answered. For you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I pray that this word has blessed you today. And if it has, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you share the video with others. Make sure that you leave me your comment. Make sure you like the video to give it momentum. Somebody needs to hear this today. And it could be the difference between life and death for somebody who is losing hope and needs just this, this the, the, the word of God to pick them up, to keep going. Uh, and I pray that, that, that you have a wonderful Easter. I pray that the sacrifice sacrifices of our Lord will not be in vain in your life and in mine. I cover you with that precious blood that is, that is shed for us on the cross of Calvary, that that blood will avail for you and I, will avenge for us. It will defend and protect us all of the days of our lives and that blood redeem us from the stronghold of sin as from today in the name of Jesus. That yoke of sin, the desire, the hunger, the thirst for sin in our lives are destroyed now by the powerful blood of Jesus. And so it is in the name of Jesus. God bless you. And uh, don't forget to join us on the prayer line once again on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also the prayer therapy video will be coming up this Wednesday by the grace of God. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed week.